You know as well as I do how out of place you two are around here. Interesting. Where would you estimate we belong, Miss Keeler? You? At his side. As if you've always been there and always will. And you. So your dad dies, you can settle for a less than ordinary life. Or do you feel like you were meant for something better? Something special? It hasn't been easy on Spark. Neither human nor Vulcan. At home, nowhere, except Starfleet. Commanding a starship is your first best destiny. Anything else is a waste of material. I would not presume to debate you. That is wise. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I can't go back to the ship. And I do want to go back to the ship, Captain. Of course, Mrs. Smith. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I only know what I can do. Why you're not afraid to die, Spock? You're more afraid of living. There's one more day you might slip. Let your human half peek out. You should have trusted me. If I'm wrong, if it's a trap, I want you here. Jim, be careful. We will. Then you never faced that situation. Face death. I don't believe in the no-win scenario. We were separated. You couldn't touch me. I've always known. I'll die alone. Not possible. Never alone. Hell, I don't know what he'd do without you. This simple feeling. How do you choose not to feel? Has it occurred to you that there's a certain inefficiency? And constantly questioning me on things you've already made up your mind about. It gives me emotional security. You are my superior officer. You are also my friend. I have been and always shall be yours. <laughs>